Here's a chair stand. The chair stand helps with core and leg muscles. I like to do mine a little bit differently. I like for you to take a really steady chair like this, hang on to the uh, arm guards, and slowly move up and hold and slowly move back down. You'll feel it here, you'll feel it here. So you're not even in a standing position yet. You are just tightening those muscles, holding, and then slowly going down. Getting out of a chair. How do we get out of a chair safely? Well, we don't get out of a chair from this position. Whether it's a couch or whether it's a soft chair, or whether it's a hard chair, we don't get out of it from this position. We scoot ourselves to the end and then we're able to lift ourselves up. So there's no rocking and rolling going on. There's none of this. Trying to get your body to fling you out of a chair because if you do that, now where is the center of gravity? It's not upright, right? So there's a real chance that you're gonna be able to flip out. So always when you get out of a chair, scoot yourself to the edge and then lift up. The knee curl is now where you are bending your knee. You're always going to keep a bend in that straight leg too. We never want to shove our knee backwards. We want to keep a slight bend in it. And now we're going to lift and hold and down. And we want our posture to be as straight as possible. Again, balance requires you to be straight. So we want to keep it straight. We want to keep our focal point there and we want to lift and lower. And you don't even have to touch the ground. You can keep it up in the air and just slightly bring it back down again. And again, we're going to do repetitions. We want to write those repetitions down because the next time we do it, we want to know, well, I did 10 two days ago, right? So I'm going to see if I can get to 12 or 15. So you're always wanting to increase that strength. Side leg raises are important. These are muscles that we don't use very often. Unless you're walking into the theater, right, to try to get into the aisle to, to sit down. And these help us stand up and help us when we turn to keep ourselves strong. So we're just going to do this. We're just going to slightly move our, our leg this way and then back down. And then out again and hold and back down. And you'll do reps with this leg, and then you'll go to this leg, and you'll do reps. It keeps these very strong. We wear flat shoes most of the time now, right? And if we don't walk up a lot of stairs, our calf muscles don't get the kind of exercise that they need. So just standing on your toes and holding, and then coming down, and standing up and hold, and then come down are really critical, so our calf muscles need exercise too.